this is my Suicide Squad movie review. In this movie, it seems, you know, it's really your anti-heroes and dark villains that are forced, you know, to do the hero work. And I really like the character Amanda Waller in the movie. She's the one that forces them to join Task Force X, known as the Suicide Squad. They really did make her really, you know, scary and intimidating, you know, really ruthless, takes no prisoner type of a person. Like when she shoots her own employees just so they don't give away information. We really see that she's very serious about doing something, doesn't care how many people she has to take down to achieve her goal. She really was to me. You felt the sense of, you know, fear for the other people in the Suicide Squad. And you see one of the characters slip out, get his head that she's blown off by the nanos that is implanted in their necks. So you really see the weight of it, that they re- she really will go to the lengths of killing them if they disobey her. Then they introduced two more characters like Deadshot. I love when in the flashbacks introduced the relationship with his daughter so you see his humanity. And then Harley Quinn and her relationship with the Joker, the toxic mad love that they have. And her, you know, being crazy but the like bits of quirkiness that she has. Then there was Boomerang and Boomerang being the really dual thief using his light comedic relief throughout. Then we got Cantana. You see brief bits with her and her souls with her sword and talking to the soul of her dead husband that's trapped there. You see slight bits of her. She's sort of a more stoic character. We didn't get much of her in this film, but probably more in future films. We got El Diablo. We got him and his fire powers and they really shone through in the end. You see kind of like a fiery sort of demon that transforms with his powers to defeat the main villain, which was Enchantress. She was supposed to be in the Suicide Squad, but sort of defects throughout the movie, you know, to fill her own needs. She wants her other brother so they can, you know, as per usual, take over the world. Enchantress, you sort of see the other worldliness of her. I thought they were a little bit much with the movements, but overall, you know, it's a simple basic premise that was executed quite well. I think they did do a good job making you care about some of the characters and the flashbacks. They didn't overdo it. You can just place through with the characters, gave you just enough information for most to some of the characters so you knew what they were about. It really was kind of a good summer movie. You had, you know, enjoyment. They made you want to care for the likes of Deadpool. So you understand why he's kind of doing what he's doing, in a way. Overall, Suicide Squad was a good time. You know, it was really kind of a typical really superhero movie. You got the really enjoyment, you want to care for the characters. It sort of was a great setup for future movies. If you like this review, please comment below with any ideas for future videos. Please let me know and subscribe to my channel.